Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how I can create hotkeys using letters, mouse clicks and also a combination of letters and mouse clicks with special keys like Control, Alt, Windows key and Shift key. Um, if this is something that interests you then please continue watching. Hi guys, now we're going to start our first real tutorial and it's going to be about hotkeys. Hotkeys are basically shortcuts and hotkeys are what makes auto hotkey extremely useful and hotkeys are what really separates auto hotkey from the other scripting languages and that's why I've chosen hotkey as my real first tutorial. So without further ado, let's begin. So I just created a new script and I'm going to create the backbone of the script and go save it as test script one and I'm going to create a um, hotkey that uses the letter A to show me a message box that says A. All right, if I run this script and uh, um, press A, it's going to give me the message box that says A. Now I can append to this by putting in a hotkey that uses the letter B and this time this is going to be a multi-line um, hotkey this is a single line hotkey and I'm also well, okay so let me run this and press B I get a message box that says B now um, I'm going to create another one that says message box okay let me copy that message box C and this time if I run uh, the hotkey for B, what's going to happen is it's going to show me uh, both B and C. B and C. And that's because we're missing return here. It's important that you put return um, after the end of the end of the command lines for hotkeys because return puts a, a pause to the script, so to speak, and it ends running um, the commands at, a, at the point where the returns are. For single line scripts you don't really need a return but for multi-line scripts multi-line hotkeys you do need returns now if I just remove that and then what I, what I can also do is I can move C up here and what that effectively did is it assigned B and C keys to show me message boxes B and C so if I hit B it gives me B and C that's how it works. Now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and close this close this script because the script continually runs in the background and, and monitors for my, my keystroke um, so that it can run when I press A, B or C um, the message boxes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and bring the taskbar to my main screen and what you have to do is you click here and should go show icon um, and then you find the script that matches the, the name of the script that you want to close out of. You go right click and then hit exit and that's going to that's going to close the script out. So now if I type um, A, B, C then they're, they're going to be typed out as, as they would normally do. Okay, I'm just gonna move the taskbar out. Now what I'm gonna show you is um, you probably noticed that when I press, okay, let me run the script again. When I pressed A, it's it's not going to type out A uh, because it's running the the command line that I have input here. Now, in order to um, avoid having my keystroke being ignored by the computer and not being typed out on the screen, what I can do is I can put a tilde sign in front of my hotkey, um, and that way, what's going to happen is if I press A, it's still going to show me the message box, but it's going to input the letter A as well. So if I press A now, it does it does exactly that. All right? I'll do it again. It does exactly that. Now what I'm going to do is um, let me remove this, remove that, and say hit save. Now if um, I'm going to create a new script and this time actually by the way I should exit out of the 
the script okay now I'm gonna go ahead and create another script and save it as test script 2 um, and this time I'm gonna show you how you can use the mouse clicks to, to as, as a hotkey um, and it's important that when you use mouse mouse clicks um, especially left button and that's done this way message box left button um, it's important that you um, create also another hotkey that would um, work like an emergency exit so if, you, if I press exit button it's going to exit out of the script and what it's going to do is um, by clicking the left button it's not going to show the message box anymore when I exit out of the script um, because otherwise it's just going to pretty much disable my left button and I don't want that okay let me go ahead and run this script now if I press the left button I'm gonna see the message box my left button is sort of disabled because when I try to click this OK button it's not going to you know um, put forward my left button so I'm gonna I'm gonna press exit key to exit out of the script and I'm then able to perform left clicks again like that now um, in order to perform uh, use right uh, mouse click as a hockey you just go R button um, and there's also M button to use the middle button of the of the mouse as the hockey and uh, the middle button is usually the button that that comes with the, the scroll um, on the mouse and um, you can also use will up and will down right if I run this script and go okay I'm gonna start with the right button this time if I press right I'll get the right button message box press okay maybe I'll get rid of the left button and I'm gonna run it again right button I get the right button message box middle button I'll get the middle button message box will up will up and will down is will down all right so I'm just gonna save that okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and create another script and save it as test script 3 now this time I'm going to show you how you can combine special keys like Control Alt uh, Windows and Shift key um, with letters and numbers and uh, mouse clicks to to create uh, hotkeys in in such manner. So let me start off with a Control Control key, which is um, the head sign, and I'm also gonna assign A to it. So when I press Control A, I make it so that it shows me a message box that says A. And this, um, the next one, I'll create um, an exclamation mark, which represents um, Alt key, and then B, and I'll call that message box B. And you can also combine Control and Alt. So if I put the head sign and exclamation mark with a C and this is gonna um, I'll call this a message box C so by pressing all three uh, keys it's going to show that message box um, let me run the script and show you so if I press control A it's going to show me the message box A and alt B and control alt C right and um, you can also use, oh by the way, if you want to use the um, Windows key, then it is uh, the hashtag. And this time I'm going to give um, hashtag N1 a message box 1. And shift key is plus, and I'll call, um, I'll give it 2, message box 2. And you can also use the mouse clicks. I'll, combined with the special key so let me go um, head sign to represent the control key with L button and 
make this uh, call out left button now I'm also going to add an exit um, exit option I'll go ahead and run the script and if I press start one now give me that message box shift 2 and control left button now when you create a hockey using the, the left um, or any mouse clicks it's uh, highly recommended that you create the hockey uh, with a combination of the special keys like control um, because you may need to use the, the mouse clicks um, in vanilla ways so um, okay I'm just gonna get out of that and I think now is a good time to wrap it up here and in the next video I'm going to continue on with the hotkeys and cover some other features thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video